Hello and welcome to the Service Monster mobile app technician view training. During this training, I'll be walking you through getting started with using the technician mobile app. If you don't already have the Service Monster app on your phone, simply search for Service Monster in your phone's app store and you'll be able to download it from there. It has the blue SM logo and is simply named Service Monster. So if you see this, you're looking at the right app. And here is the app open. Now you'll notice there's both a sign up free and log in button. You'll want to get in touch with your team in terms of what your login information will be. To log in, you can click on the login button right down here at the bottom. And you'll need to enter in your company ID, username, and password. After you've entered your company ID for the first time, it's going to autofill for any future times you're logging into the app. So get in touch with your team about what that login information will be. And then when you're ready to go, we can enter it in here. So right when you log in, you'll immediately be able to see information about your appointments for that day. So right here with this little dashboard in the middle, I can see the average appointment total for the day, how many appointments I have, how many activities, and how many invoices I've completed for this day. As I scroll down, I can also see my appointment cards for this day. So these tell me information about my appointments, where they're located, what technicians are assigned to them, how much is due for that appointment, all of that. Up here at the top, I can also change what day I'm looking at. So if I need to look at, say, tomorrow's appointments, I can click on the date and hop ahead to see what I'm doing in the future. Any days where you have an appointment scheduled for you to work will have a dot appear below the date on the calendar. Going back into Wednesday, let's go ahead and hop into an appointment as if we're getting started with work. So we'll hop into the Lodge Coffee here. Here, we'll be able to see our appointments information. If we click on this little map icon right here, that will actually open up this location in either Google Maps or Apple Maps, depending on which you have. So you'll be able to easily get directions to this appointment. When you get to your appointment, you can check in by clicking on this check-in button right here. It will change from being green to red, and the system is going to start tracking your time. This is a great way to track how long it takes for you to do different tasks or to finish appointments. Scrolling down a little bit, you'll be able to see our technician notes. These are notes that either your team may have added in to make your job easier, such as, you know, entry code is this, or you can also click on this pencil icon to edit them yourself. So if you have any information that you want to send back to your team in terms of this appointment, you can add that in here. Down at the bottom here, we have our work order information. So this is where I can see the products and services that are being used or that I'm offering with this order. I can click on the work order and that will open it up for me. So here I can see all of the details about this specific order. And down here at the bottom, I can see my line items, which are my products or services, as well as my service items. You can think of service items as a way to track the work that you're doing. Think of this as you taking a clipboard and on your walkthrough, you're noting each room and area that you'll be servicing. You might be taking measurements or making notes and taking pictures of the individual items. Say if I'm, for example, doing some carpet cleaning, we'll say that's service two here, and I want to track the area I'm working in. Say I do my billing by the square foot. What I can do is create service items to represent different areas that I'm working in. So I can click create a service item. I can give it a name. I can add in the dimensions for that space. And it's going to automatically calculate my quantity for me. I also can subtract out something. So say I'm working around a area and that will be subtracted out of my quantity. Here I can also take a photo or upload a photo from my device. And when I click on the check here, that service item is created. Once you've entered in these service items, they'll be saved to that service location. So you'll have faster access on repeat appointments as well as a detailed history of the work that you've done. Now I can link this up with a line item by going back over to my line items, clicking on the service, clicking apply service item, selecting it. Here I can also adjust if I'm going to keep or replace my quantity or description. If I replace my quantity, in this case, uh, it'll go up to 144. That's great for, again, if you like to do any of your pricing by the square foot. So if I select that, and then if I click on this check mark icon in the upper right hand corner, and again, 
that is going to be applied. So my service two is showing me what service item is connected with it, as well as my quantity has increased. Here you can also adjust your order note. This is a note that will appear on the customer's invoice. And you can do a number of different tasks related to this order, such as emailing the client, taking photos, recording a signature, and more. So going back to our appointment here, as we go through this process, there may be different things that your team will want you to do. Uh, here you'll have the ability to email the client, take any pictures of this order. You can actually collect a signature on your mobile device. So if I click sign right here, I can collect a signature. If I click sign again. Doo -doo -doo. And click done. And that signature will be added on. I can drag and drop it to where I want it to go and click place. So now I have a signed copy of my order in the system. That's kind of a handy thing you can do. You can record a payment, go through the completion wizard process, and view your time logs. So let's go ahead and check out the time logs and completion wizard process. So we got to our appointment here, we checked in, we've been working, and we are all done. To finish this appointment, we can click on the complete button right here, and we can go through the steps to finish this order in the system. The first one is going to be our invoice overview. This is letting us look over the invoice to make sure that everything looks good on it. Basically, any final edits are made, any line items that are needed are added in. Part of why you'll want this to be the first step is because if you collect a signature on your orders, you'll want the order to be in the invoice state before you collect the signature. This is because the signature is going to be automatically attached to whatever state the order is in. Then we will want to convert that order into an invoice. So it has changed from being a work order to being an invoice. We can see that here, it's now pink and says invoice. It'll have you capture any images. So if you took any photos, you can upload them here or you can take a picture from here. After your appointment, make sure that you're uploading or taking any of your after photos so that they are within Service Monster and you can easily access them. You can check out of your appointment. So that will basically click the checkout button for you. You can apply a payment. So if you do have integration set up with authorize.net or Stripe, you'll be able to run a credit card payment right through here on the mobile app. Otherwise, you'll simply collect your payment however you usually would and you can record it in here. So we can pick a payment method. Let's just go ahead and say it's a check. You can adjust the amount paid. You can give it a reference number and you can give it a little memo here. Then when I click on my check, that is going to be saved. Down here, we can also send an email to this client. So here we can choose a template that will be used. So say we can use our thank you invoice paid. So that will send out an invoice to our client. It's already been attached as an attachment with the invoice as a PDF. If you click on edit attachments here, you'll be able to see any files or photos associated with this order as well. So you can also email them pictures of the work that you did through here. And to send this email, all you have to do is click on that check mark in the upper right hand corner. Our final step is going to be to mark the appointment as complete. That lets the system know, hey, we're all done with this. Now you'll notice I'm only at 70%. That's just because I didn't take any pictures and I didn't send an email. If you do all of those steps, it'll take you to 100%. But the good thing is, is you don't have to go through and do every step. So just make sure you're checking in with your team about what exactly they want you to do when you're going through this completion process. So backing out, we can see I'm no longer checked into this appointment. And if we click on our time log right here, I'll be able to see my time log. So I can see my check-in time, my checkout time, and how much time that was. So going back to my homepage, it has updated. So I can see I only have one more appointment now, and I've moved to having one invoice as well. Some other things to note. So when you're looking at a appointment page, you might be able to see a client's phone number and email address if they're entered into the system. Here, you'll be able to give your client a call through your own phone, if they have texting turned on, you can send them a text message. This client does not. And I can send them an email right from here. To send a text message to a client, click on the text bubble next to their phone number. Here you'll be able to select if you want to send the text message via Service Monster. If you do, leave this box checked. 
and the message will send through Service Monster. If you uncheck this, the message will send through your phone's regular texting service. Here you can also apply a template. If you use a template, you will not be able to edit it in the text box, and you'll notice some of these use our merge fields, which are these capitalized words surrounded by brackets. These are pieces of information that the system can autofill with your client's info if it is sent through Service Monster. If you send this through your own phone's text messaging system, it's going to simply copy and paste this message into your phone's texting system, and you'll have to go in and fill in all of these merge fields. You can also create custom templates if you want them to say a specific thing. Clicking on the paper plane icon in the upper right hand corner will send your text message. So those are some other contact options that I have for when it comes to reaching out to this specific client. If you want to learn more about this client, we can click on their name and that will take us to their account page. So here I can see all of their information, contact information, as well as any account notes. As well, if you're interested in learning more about the site that you're going to, you can also click on the site address that will take you to the site page. So here you can see your site notes. And if the site has any separate contact people, you'll be able to see their information in here. If you've made any service items for this site in the past, those will also appear in the service items tab, and you can create new service items right from here. You may notice down here at the bottom, there's both a home screen and a schedule tab. These are two different tabs, however, they look and work very similar for the technician view. Basically, you're just going to see your appointments as appointment cards, and you'll be able to switch to different days of the week. If you click on the eye icon in the upper right hand corner, you'll be able to see some contact information. If you have any trouble while using the app, please feel free to reach out to our support team either by giving us a call, or you can also check out our help site linked right here. So if you need any help when it comes to using the app, those are some great resources. Here you can also see who you're logged in as, as well as what version of the app that you're using. Thank you all so much for joining me. As always, make sure to reach out to our support team if you have any questions, and I wish you the best of luck when it comes to using the Service Monster mobile app. Bye-bye!